This is Mamutasan Mehra's welcome to another solution tutorial of Soydos. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the front view and in this, this front view, we can see a section view of AA and the section B view has been shown here. So let's first think about this 3D shape. In here we can see a circular cylindrical profile here and this circular cylindrical profile has a dimension of 30 diameter and in this circular dimension 30 diameter portion we can see we have another uh, thread type shape uh, we will use the helical shape to draw this thread like shape for doing this first i will create a circle here of 40 diameter and from that circle i will use the helix option to draw this spiral curve and from this scale curve and we can see this rectangular profile has a dimension of 4 unit by 5 unit and then I will use the helix circular profile and the this rectangular profile by using sweep to boss method okay let's start first of all select the right plane now sketch now select circle now draw our base cylindrical circle the circle is 30 diameter now isometric it for a better view now go to features and extrude boss and here you can see it has a extrude boss of 100 unit so i am extrude bossing it to 100 unit now select the reverse direction now press ok and here you can see our this helical shape as stated six unit apart from this line so i will take a reference plane here and from that reference plane i will draw a 40 diameter circle so select this surface now select this reference now select plane now dimension it to six unit now flip the offset now press ok we have drawn our plane now i will select sketch to the plane now normal to it now select a circle and now draw a circle of 40 diameter now I submit ticket now press ok now go to features now select the helix helix and spiral option and from this helix and spiral option uh, we can we have to give some values here we, we can see the pitch value and the revolution value and start angle so let me define here you can see if we draw this two line from this mid two point you can see this portion is called a one pitch so like this one we have this one is first pitch hour then our second pitch third pitch fourth pitch then if we also select this portion then, then this will be our fifth pitch then this extra portion and this little portion will uh, define our uh, sixth number pitch so total number of pitch uh, I will give the revolution of six and here you can see we have the total distance here is 74.15 so each pitch will get Seven, uh, seventy-four point one five divided by six and uh, twelve point three five something, and the start angle. If you, if we see the the this three D view in this three D view, the spiral case started from this point. So if we change the dimension, you can see this point, but make it change that i give it 100, 135 degree you can see that this is now starting from this here but in our case we have to start this from this point so i am defining the angle to 90 degree after that you can select the direction you can select the counterclockwise and the clockwise direction uh, in our case it is clockwise direction so i am selecting the clockwise direction now press ok 
after that you can hide hide the previous plane now for drawing this rectangular shape here of dimension this is the four unit dimension and in here this is the five unit dimension for drawing this rectangle plane first first i will select a reference plane in according to this spiral point so now i am selecting reference now select plane now select this point as a first reference now and now select the font plane as second reference now press ok after that now select the plane to as a sketch now normal to it for a better view now select corner rectangle now place your corner rectangle to this point and now dimension it to 5 by 4 unit now press ok now I submit ticket now exit sketch after that you can now hide this plane also now now we will use the swift boss method for drawing this thread shape so for this profile I will select this sketch and for this option I will select the helix option you can see we have got our spiral thread now press ok you can see this line is overlapping our sketch so I will select this line and now hide this line now the blue color line is gone ok now we can see we have a fillet of radius 3 here and fillet of radius 3 here so select fillet option from here now dimension it to 3 unit now enter now select this side of your sketch and rotate it and also this side of the sketch also now press ok now i submit the kit for a better view now we can see we have fillet of 45 unit here and another fillet also here so i am going to use the 2 by 45 degree fillet in other two portion so uh, sorry it is chamfer chamfer so i will use the chamfer option here so select the chamfer option so dimension it to 2 unit and angle set, set the angle to 45 degree now select this circular profile and now rotate and also select the other side of the circular profile now press ok now isometric it as you can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different